part, it asks, what if you're in a plane, the pilot forgets to account for the wind, where do you end up? I hope you're not in a plane like that one day. The pilot comes on the air five hours later, says, oops, <laughs> sorry folks, I forgot that there's a wind. No wonder people were trying to call me, I was ignoring them. So where are you going to end up? Well, in this case, you're probably going to end up in the Atlantic Ocean somewhere, right? Because you're going to head, head towards New York. The wind is going to drag you down that way. So in this case, it's going to look like this. You're going to end up somewhere like this. And then in five hours, he says, I ran out of fuel, so I have to land. So you end up landing in the ocean somewhere there. Get your swimming gear on. So in this case, what happens is this. The symbols change. The velocity of the airplane with respect to wind is the one that goes from LA to New York. Velocity of wind with respect to the ground drags you down. And then this one is 42. And then the velocity of airplane with respect to the ground is the one that you don't know. Okay. And the magnitude of the VAW is 600 miles an hour. In other words, if the pilot didn't know that there's a wind, he's going to set his airspeed at 600. He's going to set his angle at 42, and he's just going to rest, you know, play chess or something, you know, do the, and then the plane just goes, coasts 600 miles an hour. So we still use the same equation. Except this one we don't know. This one we know is 600 cos 42. And then this is the same as before. 80 sine of 292. And then in the y direction we've got VAGY is 600 sine 42 plus 80 sine of uh, 292. And now you get each component. <coughs> OK, so tell me that, tell me that. Four, seventy-five, and this one. Okay, so now this is your effective velocity. VAG is effective speed. Magnitude of VAG is effective speed, which is square root of 327.30 squared plus 475.85 squared. That is now the effective speed. The wind's action on you caused your effective speed to change. And then the angle is tangent inverse of uh, 327 over 
475.85. And the angle should come out to be less than 42. So tell me where you get uh, what you get there. Point four. And the angle <coughs> question. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. This is supposed to be cosine. Yeah. But the answer is still right. Oh. Uh, less than 42, right? Now, if the, the problem asked, where is it going to end up in five hours? Well, it's going to end up at 34.5 degrees north of east from where it started. And you take your effective speed, multiply it by five, five in five hours, and that will tell you the distance that it will have gone in five hours. So the distance is 577.54 times 5, and you get uh, 02, 27, 2, 35, 37, 3, 38, 3, 25, 28. I think that's right, huh? 2,887.7 miles, that's where you end up, at 34 degrees north, 0.5 north of east. So if that's in the ocean, the plane lands there. Well. Hopefully it doesn't, but so you see the idea is in one case, this illustrates two kinds of situations with uh, uh, relative velocity addition. In one case, the problem wants you to go somewhere and then asks you, how should you account for the wind so that you go to the right place? Now, it's not always wind problems. You, this, could, this problem could have been in the water. Let's say you're driving your boat in the water. The problem tells you the water has a certain current. Where should you aim the boat so that you end up at a certain location? That's the kind of the A kind of problem. The second kind of problem is you're going through the uh, river. The river has a certain current. Let's say you forget about the current. You don't know that there's a current. Where are you going to end up? Okay. In the first kind of case, you know that there's wind, you account for it. In the second kind, you forget that it exists and it takes you somewhere else, you see. But in both kinds of problems, we still use the same equation. We didn't change the equation. The only thing that changed was, uh, what changed here? They switched their roles, right? In a VAG, we knew that the wind exists, so that's our effective. And then we, we, we looked for uh, what we should aim for. And then in the second part, we didn't know that the wind existed. And so we are, what, what we aimed at was actually our, our speed with respect to the wind. And then what we ended up is the effect of that plus the wind, you see. Okay, so that's good, uh, that's good enough. I think now we are set to Jump over to uh, chapter 5.